in this video I'll make a map fold photo. It's uh, similar to the way a map is, is folded. So I'll close my image off, open GIMP, and load a recent file, which should be that image I just showed you. Now the first thing we need to do is put some guides in. So if we go to image, guides, by percentage, the script loads down the bottom, click on it, bring it up the top. It defaults to the horizontal but by 50%. I want it by a vertical and then I click the down arrow and pick vertical and then click OK. I go back to image, guides, by percentage, this time I write in 25%. Vertical once again, click OK. Back to image, guides, by percentages, this time I want 75% and OK. That's given me my four sections I need. But I need a bigger, bigger uh, work area so I go to image and canvas size. The link is broken by default. You click on the links and join them up. Now I use the tumbler and just roll it up and you can see the size you're getting. So it's a reasonable size so I click in center it and then resize. It doesn't change your image, just gives you a new canvas in the background. Your image is still that layer there. Now I go to my rectangular select tool and and select around my first quarter like so. Then I go to my shear tool and I just bring this up, move the shear tool option out of the way and just bring that up to about 250. You need to keep an eye on your percentage because um, you need to do the, the others all the same. So I make that 250. That's a reasonable good one. And I click shear. And GIMP gives me a floating animation. So I need to click the uh, create a new layer icon and it creates a new layer. It also cuts the piece out of the uh, the bottom image. That's okay because we'll be dumping that later on. Now I I've got to go back to my image, go to rectangular select tool and select my other half or other quarter of my image. Go to my shear tool. This time I move it up to match the other one. Now remember I said you need to keep the 250 image so we need to bump that up to 250 just knock the tumblers and then we hit cheer. Once again it gives you the floating layer and you've got to hit the icon there to make create a new layer and it does it. We go back to our image and we go to our rectangular select tool and once again we grab the other quarter of the section. We go to shear. This time we pull it down move that one out of the way to meet the other one and of course it's got to be 250 as well so I need to uh, decrease that until I get the 250 back but we're working in pixels click shear you only use the, the Y by the way as well once again floating layer and then click to make it a layer return to your image the bottom, bottom one, you can see how it's cutting them out. Go to Rectangular Select Tool and select around the edge of that one. Once again we go to our Shear Tool and move this one up by 250 pixels. And just tumble it up until you get your 250 which makes it even with all the others. Went too far and click shear. Once again float in layer and then make it a layer. An image we don't require it anymore so we put it in the waste bin. Now we go to our transform first one 
and we go to colors and brightness we're going to put in a, a bit of a shadow on it so we need to bump that down to about about 80 on this one so that's it 80 then we need to miss one and go to the second transformation you've got one there to get number them for you click on that one which you can see the boundaries of the of the transformation once again you go to colors brightness and once again you bring that one down to 80 it's a little bit too much going the wrong way and click OK now we've got our uh, colors in there nice nicely we can then right click the top layer and merge visible layers merge them now we're going to put in a drop shadow we go to filters light and shadow and drop shadow this gives you a three-dimensional appearance you can push this up to about 30 on but depends on your image move this one up to 30 we're working on X and Y and click OK that gives me a drop drop shadow in the background now we have our uh, shadow in there drop shadow right click the top layer and merge down that brings the two together but you've still got your boundaries and your canvas is still a big one so we go to our perspective tool that one there and we click in the area and we bring this up the perspective to give it a, a three-dimensional appearance just work within your uh, layers lines and we can pull this one out down the bottom just a fraction and then the same the other side and then click transform now we right click our work and we're going to make the layer to the image size so we click on that one and that makes it to the image size we can go up to images and remove our guides remove all guides now we make a new layer be a transparency click OK move it down by using the green arrow underneath your image go to the blend tool choose a blend I chose the new one in um, GIMP 2.8 and just drag from the bottom to the top right click the top layer and flatten image and there's your map fold photograph thank you for watching